Salutations, Mojo from Censored Gaming here. In early February, Censored Gaming covered a story in which the World Health Organization was trying to categorize hardcore gaming under addictive behaviors and hazardous substance use, alongside things such as cocaine and gambling. A group of 26 scholars wrote a debate paper on the matter, challenging the research and saying that the classification of addictive video game playing as a disorder would do more harm than good for not only consumers, but the industry as a whole. One of those scholars and professor of psychology at Stetson University, Christopher J. Ferguson, recently questioned why video game addiction got so much attention, stating that there's more research on food addiction than it, yet the latter got more notice. He believes moral panics can put political pressure on scientific bodies to rush to rash claims despite a lack of solid evidence. He goes on to say the following. For instance, in conversations with one administrator at the World Health Organization, who was considering including potential video game addiction diagnosis in their International Compendium of Diseases, he acknowledged that political pressure from Asian countries in particular was one factor. So, from Ferguson's conversation with an administrator at the World Health Organization, we now know that the Asian region is actually pushing for video game addiction to be classified as a disease. Considering recent events, this may not be that surprising. South Korean government stated that hardcore gaming was one of the four evils plaguing the country, alongside alcoholism, gambling, and drugs. Additionally, the Chinese government has several military-style camps to treat the dependency of the internet and games, which are reportedly strict and abusive. Some examples of abuse was a 19-year-old girl being beaten to death because she didn't ask permission to use the restroom, and a 14-year-old boy who was struck by a baton and a pipe for being unable to do push-ups. Up until 2009, they even used electroshock therapy. A study done by Chung Ong University in Seoul, South Korea noted that brain structures affected by addictive video game playing were both the anterior cingulate and orbital frontal cortexes, which regulate heart rate and decision making respectively. The results from the experiment show that there was an increase in stimulation in those areas and that it resembled a pattern similar to substance abuse. However, as earlier mentioned, Ferguson and other Western researchers have determined that there currently isn't enough research and it's far too early to be making any definite conclusions. Ferguson also states that the labeling of hardcore gaming as a disease has the potential to cause strife between parents and their children and also worsen a child's well-being. The WHO has until March 30th, 2017 to either scrap the proposal or implement it as part of the new ICD-11. Sensor Gaming will be sure to keep you up to date on all new developments. This has been Mojo, and I hope you all have a spectacular night.